In this video, I'll be showing you how to install the 19 branch of Cody, release candidate 1. Firstly, a warning, if you're already running Cody on FreeBSD, I really wouldn't upgrade just yet because it's the release candidate uh, version. And if you haven't installed it and you're looking for certain features, uh, there's a chance that you might want to wait, or if you're not bothered, then just load up the release candidate. We're doing a PKG update to get the latest packages. And we're upgrading to make sure we've got the latest uh, available. So if we search for Cody, you can see there's a, a 19.0 R1, and there is an earlier development version at the bottom. The one that we install is the latest one, which is the release candidate. So we add Cody, Cody add-on for the PVR TV head end. And we just install. Now this will load Cody as well as a TV head end PVR. So if you want to access a remote uh, TV head end server, you'll need to use this if you want to record and watch your recordings, etc. Right, Cody's been added to the menu. So we'll just start it up and switch to the other desktop. And there it is. And we'll need to set up the uh, TV head end uh, PVR. So we have to go to. So if you try the uh, TV option now, it'll give you a little bit of information says that you need to set up a PVR, which we'll do. We browse up to uh, my add ons, and then you'll see at the bottom PVR. It's already installed, you just need to activate it. Uh, yeah, we'll activate it once we set it up. So we'll configure first before we uh, enable. I'm going to fill out the details. And once everything's done, you put in the IP of your server. We'll leave everything as it is, I think. Yeah. We just click OK and enable. So this will allow us to um, schedule recordings and watch recordings that we made and also see the TV guide if it's pulling it in. So there's the TV guide, which is pretty nice. And this is a release candidate, so uh, there might be one or two bugs. But it seems to be working all right. There's the recordings. I'm not going to play any, just in case I get uh, a copyright strike. And let's install some video add-ons. Popcorn. So we're going to install YouTube. I'm not going to bother um, setting it up at the moment. And another one, NHK Live. And one thing you'll notice with this particular release candidate is that you're unable to uh, load in the input stream adaptive add on, which it relies on. Um, in this particular release candidate. So you have to make a decision. We'll try this RT, it should be the same. Yep, it's not available. You'll have to make a decision to either uninstall the latest release candidate and load up an earlier version if you want those particular video add-ons to work. But unfortunately, what it means is that the TV head end uh, PVR won't work with this older version. It's it's a bit messy. So if we load in the input stream adaptive and uh, IT IPTV simple, it'll want to remove the release candidate of Cody and the TV head end uh, PVR as well. But we'll do that. We'll load in the earlier version. And if we do try to load in the um, TV head end PVR, Give it a moment. It tells you that it uh, conflicts and it'll want to actually uh, go back to what we were. So anyway, we're on to the uh, slightly older version. It's not the stable version, but it's um, there you go. It's still version check. It's telling you that the uh, you're on alpha two. But it enables us to uh, load in the uh, NHK add-on because the uh, input streams there. And and 
even pop conflicts, uh, which we didn't do last time, but still relied on the uh, input stream. So there you are with three uh, very useful add-ons. But unfortunately, like I said, the TV add-on, the TV end add-on, unfortunately can't be loaded as well. So I think really we should wait until a later version comes in or a new version and hopefully they will pair everything up together. So, but anyway, this is how you get the latest version and I hope it was useful. Well done if you've made it to the end of the video and if you've found it useful in any way, then please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to make sure you don't miss future videos, then please click the subscribe button and the notification bell. This helps the channel grow so that I can keep on making content that helps the FreeBSD community grow as well.